down, floats your arms up. And just pause here. This is little mister. Yep, this is little mister. You're gonna take your left ear to your left shoulder. You're gonna drop your right arm out to the side. You can give your head a little bit of pressure here and just stretch out that neck. Beautiful. If it feels okay, keep this right arm where it is or you can take the hand, the arm behind the back, maybe catch the thigh on the opposite side and just start to stretch across the shoulder as well. And then if this is good, stay here if you want. You can start to move your chin around a little bit, maybe dropping the chin down toward the shoulder and then maybe lifting it back up again. And in this movement, if you've decided to move, seeing if there's a spot that maybe needs a little more attention. And then pausing there if you do. And slowly rising back through center, stretching the arms up. Switch the cross of your shins. And then we're just gonna go to the other side. Start slow, reach out to the heel of the hand, and maybe take this arm behind the back, you don't have to. And then maybe drop the chin down a little bit. And then maybe back up. And start to draw the front of that left shoulder open. And then if you find that there's a spot where you need a little extra love, you're just gonna pause there and breathe into it. And then your next inhale rises you back into center, stretch the arms up, get long through your spine and then release the hands down. You're gonna come around onto all fours, hands and knees. And before we go into cat's breath, because I promise we will, first we're just gonna work the shoulder girdle here so that you are finding some mobility here. So you're gonna inhale, drop the heart down, let the shoulder blades glide toward each other, try to keep the belly strong, and then exhale, push the shoulder blades wide on your back. Inhale, drop through protraction, sorry, retraction, exhale, protracting the shoulder blades, inhale, drop down, exhale, press out. As you are doing this, you're just moving with your breath here, give your hands some more attention. So your hands and your wrists are going to guide up into the shoulders. Press down into all of your fingertips, all of your knuckles, start to feel that index finger the base of the index finger and the thumb taking more weight, taking more of that guide of like the leadership role in the hands. And then we're gonna add on to this so that you inhale, you come into cat, uh, cow, and then exhale, protract, exhale, exhale, round to cat. Inhale, drop through, pull the heart through, lift the tail, the crown of the head. And then exhale, push the floor away, round the back, spread the shoulder blades. One more round, inhale. So it's not just the spine, we're working through the shoulders as well. Come through a neutral spine, tuck your toes, hover your knees off the ground, take a couple of breaths right here. And then keeping the arms straight and strong, start to push the chest toward the thighs with the knees bent, so that you're in a really deep, bent downward facing dog. Lengthen out the spine. Use all of your fingertips. Start to feel the wrists lift away from the floor. The triceps pressing in and gently wrapping down. And then from there, slowly start to straighten the legs. They may not straighten all of the way and that is fine. Pause here and breathe. If your shoulders are particularly tight, you can take your hands as wide as your mat, maybe even a little bit wider, and you can turn the fingers slightly open and that's gonna give you more space here. Another breath in, 
And then exhale, pull your right knee into your chest. Place your foot forward. Bring your back knee down to the ground and then release the toes or keep them tucked, but use your back foot a lot. Rise up through your torso, rise up through the arms. Good. You're gonna bend your left elbow, bring your right hand to your elbow. Maybe this hand comes behind your back or behind the head. And then push into the front foot a lot, push into the back leg a lot, and sinking and rising simultaneously. Want, this right hand comes behind your back. Maybe it crawls up and finds that that uh, bind here. No pressure to get the hands together ever, ever, ever. Last inhale. And then release the hands gently. Bring this left hand around to the ground. Tuck the back toes. Lift the back knee and pick your right hand up to the sky. Just feel that blood flow. Come back into that arm, into that shoulder. And then start to build the strength of your bottom arm, of your bottom hand. You're going to turn on to the outside edge, the pinky side of your left foot. Step your right foot back, Vashistasana. Good. You can keep the foot down here or here if you need support. You can put your knee down if that's better for you. Another inhale, and then come through plank in the center. Use your knees if you need to. I'm going to use them on this first one. You're going to bend the elbows and start to lower all the way down to your belly in one straight line. Toes, point back behind you. Push all of your toenails down. Hug the elbows in. Lift the shoulder heads and come into cobra. As you're here in Cobra, stay. You stay. I'm going to come up. You're pulling your thumbs in toward the like toward the ribcage, and you're spiraling the pinky fingers open. That's energetically against the floor. And in that action, you pull the shoulders open. You draw the elbows in. So in essence, you open up more across the chest. The fronts of the shoulders open more. Last breath here. You've got this. And then release it down. Push up and back. Downward facing dog with an exhale. And then pause. Take a big inhale. And then exhale, left knee into your chest. Place your foot forward. Put your right knee down. And then rise up. Push into the back foot. Energetically draw your legs toward each other. Bend the right elbow. You can support with the left hand. If you want, you can sweep this left arm behind your back. You can just bring your hand behind your back or maybe bring the hands together and find the bind. Vashisasana, stepping back. So again, it's like the pinky fingers spiral toward the edge of your mat. The thumb draws toward the center of your mat. And in that, the shoulder is going to get a lot stronger. Last inhale. Come through plank. And then exhale, your choice, chaturanga or the floor. Inhaling, cobra or upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Pause and breathe. Inhale. 
inhale, lift your heels. Bend your knees, stretch your hips back a lot. Look forward at your hands, walk, step, or jump your feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale. Fold down, exhale. Inhale, rise up to stand. And draw your hands into your heart. Exhale. Pause here and breathe. Moving with intention. Allowing the knowledge of your past practice to guide you in this movement, but to also come with fresh eyes so that every time you go through familiar things, you're finding something new. You're responding to what's happening in this moment, not making any assumptions about where you've been or what it normally feels like. Quote unquote. Release the arms down. Inhale, reach up, stretch to the sky. Exhale, hinge from your hips to bow forward into a forward fold. Inhale, half forward fold. Pull the gaze slightly forward, plant your hands, chaturanga, exhale. Rise open, inhale. And dog pose. Exhale. Inhale, lift your heels. Bend your knees, look forward, bring your feet to your hands. Halfway. Inhale. Fold. Exhale. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, draw your hands into your heart. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, bowing forward. Inhale, halfway. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale and rise. Down dog, exhale. Lift the heels, inhale. Bend your knees, exhale. Look forward, feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale, fold down, exhale, rise to stand, inhale, and exhale, hands into your heart, really nice, inhale, rising up, exhale, bowing forward, halfway, inhale, chaturanga, exhale, inhale, open and rise. Downward facing dog, exhale. Right leg back, inhale. Right knee, right tricep, exhale. Inhale, stretch back. Right knee, left tricep, exhale. Inhale, back. Exhale, place your foot between your hands. Crescent pose, rising up. a little deeper. Take your left arm under your right arm, come into eagle arms, eagle arms. So forearms press forward, fingers stretch away from the elbows, let the upper back spread. Good, you're going to take this left arm outside of your right thigh, bring your hands together. And then twisting open here. Really long line of energy from your back heel through the leg, through the spine, out the crown of the head. Good. Consider left hand down, right hand either up or overhead. For your consideration. Our back heel is going to guide it. So the back heel roots down. That starts to pull us out of the twist. And we come into warrior two. Now spread the arms wide. And drop the left arm behind the back. Reach the right arm up to the sky. Maybe you hook this right thigh. And 
then straighten the front leg, turn the back heel inward, and then sinking down Skandasana. If you can, you're gonna keep this left arm where it is. You can sink as low as you want, and then maybe right hand comes to right foot.
inhale, rise to your toes. Bend your knees, look forward, bring your feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Chair pose, inhale. Hands into your heart. Left arm outside your right thigh. And then opening here. Maybe top arm up, maybe bottom hand down. Sink the hips, lift the heart. Maybe take a half wrap, bringing this right hand around to hook the left thigh. Release the arm back up if you brought it down. And then everyone come back to chair. Hands into heart. Right arm outside the left thigh. Revolve chair. And then consider right hand down, left arm up. Maybe take a half breath here, bringing that arm behind the back. Sink the hips, lift the heart. Couple more breaths. Hang in there. Breathe. You've got this. You've got this. Come back to chair in the center. And then forward fold. Beautifully done. Halfway in hand. This time step back to plank. And then lower down to your belly. Take your right arm out to the right side with your elbow bent at a 90 degree angle. Plant the arm, look to the left, and then roll to your right side. If this is enough, stay here, push into the hand. If you want, top leg comes behind so that you bend the top leg, the left leg, you put your foot flat on the floor, and you can give a little pressure into your left hand to open up more. So you're getting a big stretch across this front right shoulder, across the chest, yeah? Stay in your breath. It should feel like an intense, perhaps, stretch, but there should be zero pain, no pain. So avoid the pain, move away from the pain, please. back through center, and then we switch. So right angle on that left arm. Roll to your side, and then if you want, bend the knee, put the, fat, uh, the foot flat on the floor. back through center. Both hands behind the back, lace the fingers. Inhale, Shalabhasana, heart forward. Float the feet up, draw the knuckles toward your heels and open up the heart, open up the shoulders. Bring your hands next to your ribs, inhale, up dog or cobra. And downward facing dog with your exhale. Little pause. Inhale, right leg back. Right knee, right tricep. Exhale. Inhale, back. Exhale, cross. Inhale, back. Exhale, place your foot between your hands. Crescent pose, inhale. 
Right arm on top, left arm under, Gordasana arms. Inhale. Exhale, twist over to your left. You can bring the hands open. You can take a half wrap, maybe a full wrap. We'll stay for a couple of breaths. And then your back heel is going to pull you out of this. Warrior two. Root the heel. Come around. Reverse. Maybe snake that hand behind the back and find the thigh. Straighten the front leg. Back heel in. Skandasana. Maybe take that big toe. Come around. Left hand to the ground. Come onto the pinky side of the left foot. And then Vashisasana. Chaturanga. Exhale. Inhale and rise. And dog pose. Exhale. Left leg back. Inhale. Left knee, left tricep. Exhale. Inhale back. And then exhale cross. Inhale back. Place your foot between your hands. Crescent. Inhale. Right under, left on top, Gauradasana. Inhale. And then exhale, twisting to your left. You can open up the arms. You can make this into a wrap, a half wrap. Hug the left hip back and in. Back heel initiates. Turn the heel down. Come up and around, warrior two. Reverse. Straighten the front leg. Back heels turn in. Skandasana. Maybe take the foot. Come around. Vashisasana. And Chaturanga. Exhale. Inhale, rise. Dog pose, exhale. High to your toes, inhale. Knees bend, exhale. Feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Chair in half.
inhale roots. Warrior two. Reverse. Front leg straightens, back heel turns in. Standasana. Come around top of the mat. Vashistasana, opening up. Chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, rise. And dog, exhale. Left leg back, inhale. Left knee, left tricep, exhale. Inhale. And then exhale, cross. Inhale, back. Exhale, place your foot. Crescent, inhale. Right under, left on top. Gauradasana, arms, inhale. And then exhale, we twist. Open it if you want, wrap it if you want. And then back heel roots to bring you out, warrior two. Reverse inhale. Straighten the front leg. Back heel in. Skandasana. Come around. And Vashi Stasana. And Chaturanga. Exhale. Rise and hand. Dog, exhale. Smooth out your breath. Pause here. Hide your toes. Bend your knees. Feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Chair in half. Sink a little deeper, exhale. Pick up your left knee, rise up. Open up half moon on this right leg. Option to bend the top leg, find the foot and kick your foot into your hip. Let that left shoulder go for a ride if you have that foot. And then we're gonna go from here into triangle. So, you're going to release the foot if you have it. Bend the front leg. Step your left foot back. So, building triangle from the ground up. Push down into that right foot to lift the kneecap on the side. Straighten the leg and to wrap open. Option. Left hand behind the back. Half wrap. Maybe full wrap here. So, if you're opting for that full wrap, do your best not to let that pull you out of the neutralness of your spine. So if you're here in the full wrap, I would recommend just taking the half and being more open. So if you take the wrap, push the leg into the arms, the arms into the legs to wrap the chest open, to lengthen the crown of the head away from the tailbone. releasing down, hands at about shoulders distance, heart forward, inhale, and then exhale, crown of the head comes down. If you are comfortable in headstand and you want to straddle the legs up, I'm going to assume that you're there, that this is like something that you've been working on. Otherwise, I'll guide you if you're prepping for that. You don't have to go anywhere, but if your head comes down to the floor, just start to feel the thumbs pull toward each other. The pinky fingers spiral open, and maybe just lift up your heels. And then you'll know when it's time to lift up because the feet almost just lift naturally. And then to start, maybe you just take the legs up just a little bit. And then back down slowly with an inhale. Lengthen your heart forward. Beautiful. You're going to walk your hands around to the top of your mat. Put your back knee down. Up 
option to bend the back leg, find your foot with your hand, and then push the foot into your hand, and again, let this shoulder open up. Yes. Do your best not to dump into the bottom arm. Nice and strong in that shoulder and that hand and that arm. Take another breath in and then release it around. You're going to take this right foot a little wider. You're going to turn your foot on an angle and your knee is going to follow that angle. Pick up the back foot. Get nice and strong here. You're just going to step your left foot outside of your left hand on the same angle and we'll come to Malasana at the top of the mat. Malasana. Can you find space across the collarbones? Can you find space the length of your spine? Can you smooth out your breath? Dropping down, 
Lifting the heart, lifting the spine. triceps down, you're pressing the shoulders down, and you're taking the fronts of the shoulders, trying to pull them to the side, the sides of the shoulders, and you're trying to draw them under your body. Press into the feet, and then rise up slowly. Maybe lace the hands behind the hips, lengthen the arms out. You can adjust the shoulders when you come up in any way that you need to. And then gently press the outer legs in, the outer calf, the outer thigh. shoot your inner knee forward more. Stretch the heart toward the chin just a little more. Last inhale. I keep asking for more, huh? And then come down with your exhale. When I ask you for more, these are like minute changes. It's not these gross big movements. It's very subtle. Sometimes it's an energy more than a physicality. So that we're not just coming up and being in the pose and being stagnant, we're alive, we're awake. Sometimes instead of more, more is less. Sometimes you need to ease out of it, so just know that. Repeating bridge pose, or forward Vedanyarasana, hands will come near the ears and the shoulders. You can take the hands a little wider, so don't crowd yourself. You can come to the crown of the head first if you like for forward Vedanyarasana, or you can just rise straight up. And then it's the same energy in the legs. Push down into the big toes, the base of the big toe, and draw the heart through. Last inhale, and then down with your exhale. Take a pause, receive the pose. How did it feel? Do you need modifications? Do you need a break? Do you just need stillness here and breath? If you'd like one more back bend, it could be either one of those, or Vidanyarasana or Setu Bandha Sharvangasana, bridge pose. If there's another back bend that's appealing to you right now, go for it. On your inhale, rise up. each other, bring your hands to your belly, just pause in your breath, and then either hug the knees to your chest or come into happy baby, whatever is good better and more appealing to you today. And then I got a whole slew of options coming your way. So hopefully one of these will work. I know one of them will work because I'm going to give you so many options that it's not possible for one of them not to work. The first one is thread the needle crossing right ankle on left thigh. You can do this with your foot down and your knee opening like, you'll lift the left leg and thread the needle. If you would like, you can hold your right leg, extend the left leg out. You can do this with a bent uh, knee first and the foot down if you want. And then if you want, you'll take your right ankle, you'll bring it into the left elbow, 
and then the right arm comes behind the head, and you find this bind, and then your head gently presses back into the arm. If you want, you can extend the left leg out straight. Additionally, any pigeon pose variation will work here. So find what you need. And if none of those work, pick something totally different. It's fine. Three breaths. Take this deeper. You can keep the left leg up, put the right foot back down. And then take the left ankle into the little crook of the elbow. Maybe that's enough here. If you want, the left arm can come up and around. And then maybe that right leg extends out, but it doesn't have to. And then you're not cranking your head up. If anything, you're giving your head a little pressure back into that arm so that the beautiful thing of this is you're reversing that forward neck position that we do all day long, right? On our phones, on the computer. So it kind of gives you that counter to all that tech neck stuff that we live with. work in shoulder stand and you don't need a bunch of blankets for it, it'll be very brief, it'll be about a minute, you're welcome to go into shoulder stand here, I'm actually, I'll talk you into shoulder stand. If you don't want to do shoulder stand, you can do plow pose instead, which is actually where we'll start for shoulder stand, or any other inversion of your liking. You do not have to go into a full inversion if you want, you can just take your legs up and get this nice uh, reversal of blood flow and just give your legs a little break, which is one of the reasons inversions feel so amazing is that we're taking our body, we're flipping it, we're just mixing things up. So any inversion that you like or any partial inversion that you like, and then if you're coming into shoulder stand, I'm gonna guide you there now. You lift your legs, push your hands down onto the floor to give yourself a little lift here, use your belly, and then bring your legs overhead. You can bend your knees here, and you're gonna start to wriggle the elbows closer in toward each other and the shoulders under the body, just like you would in bridge pose. And then from here, maybe just come into this little shape here. Try to stretch your fingers up your spine, and then maybe start to take the legs up. And then gently press the back of your head toward the ground, gently. Keep your gaze straight up. So the head presses down gently to lift the chin away from the chest slightly and to give your natural curve back into your uh, cervical spine. A couple more breaths. to come 
mouth. You can bend your knees. If you're comfortable with straight legs coming down, come down into plow. And then maybe release the arms, lace the fingers, reach the knuckles away from your spine. And then start to bend the knees. You can release the hands. And then slowly rolling down. If you're in another inversion, start to come out slowly and take whatever counter you need. Headstand, take a child's pose. If you're coming out of this shoulder stand, you're going to bring your hands a little bit under your hips. You're going to put your feet down and start to pull the elbows under the body and then release the legs out straight. Press down into the elbows. Lift the heart, lift the head, and then gently bring the top of the head down for fish pose. And to come out, press the elbows down, lift the head, gently release it down, and then bend both of your knees and bring your feet flat to the floor. Really beautiful. You're going to cross your left leg on top of your right. Take your knees to the right, take your left arm out to the side. to center gently and we switch left foot down right leg crosses and then knees to the left right arm out to your side through center. Bring the soles of the feet together. Let the knees drop open gently. About five breaths in Sukta Baddha Konasana. your hands at your side. Gently release the legs out to straight. Allow your eyes to fully soften. Allow your legs to be heavy, your shoulders to release. Lips, cheeks, jaw soften. Body gets heavy, breath gets soft. Mind quiets easily.
to deepen. Bring a hand to your heart, a hand to your belly. And then bend your knees. Reach the right arm overhead, roll over to your right side. And then slowly rise up to seated. And when you arrive at seated, allow your eyes to stay soft. Lengthen out the spine. And just feel the effects of your practice. You are amazing. The fact that you showed up today is a testament to your self-care, self-love. It's invaluable. Receive your practice today. Receive the gifts. We're never the same. Like every day, literally, we're never the same. We're always changing. But especially when we come out of our practice, we're never the same. We're different every single time. That's the rebirth from Shavasana, going through corpse, coming back out, and here we are in this version of ourselves. Bring your hands to your heart. I am so thankful that you practiced with me today. I thank you. Namaste. All right. I love hearing where you're from, so if you're still on and you want to leave me a note where you are practicing today, 